Hello everyone. Today I want to talk a little more about what I've learned so far in how to improve my skill in drawing and painting. So you might remember how I said I have been frustrated with what I had been producing in the last couple of weeks and this kind of led me to try and work on something and it didn't turn out because I was lacking in some fundamental skills and got my ass handed to me and well this week I took a couple of days off to calm down and try to look at things a little more objectively. Unfortunately my mood was and still kind of is in the dumps for that and other reasons but I've decided to forge ahead anyway. So these are the things that I identified last time and for the most part I've been slowly working on them. Jumping in before I'm ready or having the skills, doing bigger more complex things without studying the smaller working parts first, going over the same mistakes and parts without really fixing the issues because I don't know how yet, limited control over the media, so gouache for, for me, um, brush control, colour, values, that type of thing. So what I thought would help was to take some time to learn to control the media, in my case gouache, do some simple shape studies, forms, learning to blend and brush control, simple forms to practice with and uh, practice colours as well. And I can still continue to learn anatomy while learning to control my paint better. I just needed to simplify everything and concentrate on that instead of trying to create a whole picture with so many working parts. Oh, sounds, sounds good in theory, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just so hard to get yourself to do these things. So what I actually did was this past week, um, <laughs> after I took the couple of days off, was to learn more of the simple forms of the anatomy and then use that to practice painting with gouache with. So it seemed to be a good combination combination so far. It's still pretty ugly though. I might get disappointed in that. Well, I do get disappointed in that, but in the back of my mind, I know it's the only way to improve. So I continued to do it. Okay, well firstly, I need to analyze my work really get down to the pain points for me and then zero in on some goals. Really think about and state my intentions for any work I'm doing or about to do and really focusing on that. So that means doing a bunch of studies, trying things out and then again analysing my work and find those areas where I can improve. It can feel like, I mean, it did feel like a big list of things. It still feels like a big list of things at the start, but we can work through it by picking one or two things to start with. Some things can be worked in combination with others. So in my case, what I wanted to improve specifically, well, the anatomy of the torso and the most visible muscles, getting more confidence in creating a believable three-dimensional form with, with my sketches, and gouache control, so value and colour, the application of the brushwork, which is a broad subject on its own. So if I break that part down alone, it would be looking at edges and blending. So my theory was by combining my anatomy sketches with gouache, I can work on two things at once and save some time. So, so the theory goes. Well, anyway, I might write it down on a post-it note next to my work, shoulder muscles, edge control, values, or blending edges or something like that, because it's easy to forget, for me it's easy to forget the purpose of the sketch or whatever I'm doing once I get distracted by all the things that I have to, that I think at the time that I have to do. I think I'll end up with a growing checklist of these things and, and work my way through it as I go. The rest is just getting the work done. I mean, nothing can beat doing the actual work. No theory or video or book can replace actual hands-on experience. Everyone needs to practice so no one can get away without it and every piece of work you do is more experience. I feel like when I'm saying this, I'm saying it because I'm fed up with myself, <laughs> which is silly. Oh well, anyway. So to sum it up, basically it goes like this. Analyse your work, identify what didn't work, so that's learning the new thing. Identify what you could have done better, so that could either be learning something new or practising that new thing. Identify what you found difficult, so this is helped by repetition, and write it down and work on it, rinse and repeat for the rest of your life. Seems like common sense, right? <laughs> to me it seems like common sense. It's so basic, and everyone preaches about it too, so nothing new. But the thing is, when you're trying to create something, sometimes common sense goes on a holiday. I, 
I know I can forget why I'm doing something and it does and just get bogged down in the same crap over and over. Now, where's my common sense then? <laughs> Writing things down and, and having specific goals and intentions for a piece helps put it in perspective sometimes for me <clears throat> and reminds me of what I actually want to achieve for that piece or for that day. Anyway, I hope this helps anyone else. I know this is a big one for me and I'll probably look back on this just to remind myself again in the future when I feel like I'm stuck on something. I mean, I, ho I hope we can all improve together and support each other. Things in the world have just been so shitty for what feels like so long now. It can be hard to keep your head up at times. And I mean, even without what's going on, it's easy to forget that some things can be harder for some people that might be easy for others and we take that for granted. Also. I think I need to lighten up a little bit. <laughs> I promise I'll lighten up in the future <laughs> from today.